Hey everyone, I am doing the book movie adaptation tag. Is that what it's called? Um, well, anyway, I'll put in the proper name of it will be in the title bar of this. But anyway, I was tagged by Janie at Bookworms Buddy. I was tagged a while ago and I've just been really lazy with my tags. So I figured I would do it now just to catch up on everything. It's only a five question tag, so it's really quick and sweet and simple. And it's basically just a bunch of books. And you will get the gist of it when you see me answering my questions. I'm really out of practice with describing tags. I'm sorry. The first question is, what is your favourite book that has turned into a movie or TV series? And that is definitely Harry Potter. Harry Potter is king for me. I mean, for people in my age group, like I can remember every single year just waiting for the next book to come out. And then, because I'm a really fast reader, I would read it in like the space of a day. So then I'd have to wait an entire year more. And I think that that's really what got me into reading and just loving that sort of stuff. And The Order of the Phoenix is probably my favourite movie because I loved Bellatrix the Strange when I was younger and then when I got older I was like, she's a racist and that's really, really bad. Have you ever watched a movie or a TV series before finishing the book? And I am guilty of this too. I actually watched the movie for Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll before I had finished the book and the movie was it wasn't good but this book is fantastic and i'm so glad that i read it they changed so much to the point where you just like if you've read the books you just sort of go like why on earth would you change that like the ending is completely different characters are removed entirely i can understand that for pacing but no you do not do that to this beautiful wonderful amazing book i swear i don't try to look like a homeless daenerys Khaleesi chick whenever i film a video but it just happens this way what is the best book to movie or TV series adaptation I have seen and which did I like the least? Okay, so my favourite for this one would definitely have to be, you know, because I don't want to do Harry Potter again. So I'm going to say Catching Fire, which is the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins. Um, I loved all of them. They're all fantastic. But this one was definitely the best after the Hunger Games, which was directed by a different director. And this was just fantastic. When they're in the arena, I felt claustrophobic. Like I could feel the humidity. I was thirsty, I wanted to get the hell out of there, I was just like, I was freaking out. Winter's there laughing at me. So I'm going to say Catching Fire. My least favourite. Okay, I have so many for this, it's not even funny. So Beautiful Creatures would definitely have to be one of them. Also Vampire Academy, I am a huge, huge fan of this series and this movie just totally killed it for me. This movie was horrible. I hated this so much. So the Vampire Academy movie I hated just because there is a lot of humour, don't get me wrong, in the Vampire Academy series, but it totally missed the mark in this movie, like it just became a sarcastic sort of ridiculous fest of dumbness. <laughs> also going to throw in City of Bones, which is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. This movie was also absolutely horrendous. I hated it. I was just like, what is this crap? And also an honourable mention to a movie that hasn't come out yet but is guaranteed to be an absolute shit show because anything that is based on Twilight fan fiction, you just know it's going to be an absolute horror scene. That's Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm predicting this to be the next Showgirls, which was a great movie. That's a, it is, it's a guilty pleasure. I will admit that. But having said that, I really think they probably should have just done it so that it was available on iTunes so you didn't actually have to go to a cinema where people are going to see you, where you're going to have teenagers who work at the cinema judging you because you're going to see Fifty Shades of Grey. What is the point in wearing makeup if I'm just going to sweat it off anyway? Name a book you really want to see as a movie or TV series and I don't want to see any of them made. I do not need any repeats of Vampire Academy or City of Bones or anything repeated. It's just, it's so hit and miss. It's just, there is a cycle of movies. like. You know, out of every one adaptation, out of every like five adaptations, one is going to be successful. Name a television series or a movie that should be turned into a book. See, I'm reading it there because I can't remember anything. Um, I don't know. I think, oh, that's a good one actually. Okay, so in Once Upon a Time there is the fairy tale book and it tells the story of everything that happened in the Enchanted Forest, even though it's based on actual fairy tales and stuff. I would like to see a full book of everything that happened in that. But like I want the book that they have, that Henry had at the very beginning, and I want that to be a book that I can read. And they probably will end up doing something like that when the whole series finishes. And I swear, if the last episode of that show is not named and they lived happily ever after, I will fucking riot in the streets because come on, seriously. I am sorry that I have been absent and I'm sorry that this video is crazy. I'm in a really 
weird mood. I probably had too much sugar when I was out shopping. I hope that you have a really, really great day wherever you are in the world. And I'm not tagging anyone just because I think that this has been done by everyone. But if you want to do it, let me know in the comments down below and I will check it out and I'll tell you what I think of it and it'll be amazing and it'll be awesome and I love you all and I hope that you are having a really good day and you're in a colder climate than me because honestly I am sweating like a sinner in church. This is horrible. Alright, bye guys. Mwah!